Thank you so much, bye. All right, well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to a vlog. I thought it was about time I did another vlog. So I am on a week holidays from work. It is much needed, and I am just so excited to stop and relax and just chill out at home. We're actually going to be going down the Gold Coast on the weekend as well. So that'll be nice to actually get away from home and Clinton and I can just spend some time together. We probably won't be able to do much because you know, the whole virus situation, but that's okay. It's just nice to get away. Today I am going to be doing some bulk filming. I was meant to have my sister come over this afternoon to do another makeup trial for her formal, which is coming up in a few weeks, but she has another school commitment, so we'll probably do that tomorrow now. When I get home, I'm going to make some eggs on toast and drink my coffee. I am excited. Seriously, Ross, enough's enough. <laughs> I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors Pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get to stay Cause I got it like that I was in my own bag never Yum, how good do my eggs look? Now I'm going to watch some YouTube while I eat Tell I fell but it wasn't fake And I couldn't tell at the time But I was my own soulmate it's like I forgot I was fine, let you treat me any kind of way. No. All right, I am going to straighten my hair. I feel like it's getting really long. Like when I'm in the shower, I can feel it on my back. <laughs> so I want to straighten it and see how long it is. I have the Cloud9, I think it's just like their original hair straightener. Clinton got it for me for birthday or Christmas or something. I'm just going to put some heat protectant in. love having hair again. I always thought I would keep it short, but now I don't think I could go back to short hair. I love having hair. <laughs> well, long hair. I always had hair. All right, I have changed and I am ready to start filming. So I have a few videos on my to-do list today, starting with a review of the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Foundation. So last night I wrote up some notes on the computer. I like to just put all the details about the foundation where you can pick it up and then make notes of every little topic I want to touch on. So I've got coverage, scent, how much I use, is it buildable, the finish, how it feels on the skin, do I agree with the claims, just everything that I want to talk about so I don't forget anything in my review. Then I have an empties video to film, which, oh my God, I have so much stuff. I didn't realize how much there was. So that's going to be a big video and then if I'm not completely brain dead by then from all the talking I want to film a best highlighters for fair skin video. So a lot to do This is going to take a few hours. So I better get started. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to be testing out the new covergirl clean fresh skin milk foundation this is going to be my first impressions of the foundation I haven't tried it out before and I will this is going to be my first impressions of the foundation. I actually haven't tried it out before. So if you're interested to see how it goes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. 
Okay, I have finished filming my CoverGirl review. Now I'm going to be doing my best highlights. So again, I have some notes here on the computer with the highlights that I wanna mention. And I am just dipping into my drawer here, picking out the highlights I'm going to talk about. And then I'm going to do swatches of everything. So this should take me about another, I reckon 40-ish minutes. And then it's time for some food. All right, I have finished my filming for the day. I even filmed a few TikToks. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen, but there's a lot of like body positivity ones going around lately. And I just did a few of those where you like have your belly out while you're dead. It was so fun. So go check out my TikTok if you haven't already. <laughs> but right now I'm going to make some vegetarian sausage rolls. They do take a while and I'm pretty hungry. So I might have to make a sandwich in between. <laughs> and by the way, the neighbor's mowing. I'm sure he'll be done soon. Our yards aren't very big. So I have grated some carrot. Oh, there we go, he's done. I'm gonna cut up some mushrooms. mushroom and onion, add in the lentils and flax seeds and the stock. And then after you cook that, you put mustard and breadcrumbs in it. Instead of using breadcrumbs, I'm gonna use almond meal though. Um, and then you let it cool and then you wrap it up in your pastry. So it seems pretty simple. I will link this recipe down below if you're interested. I do change things up a bit. Like it says to use thyme, but I've got some parsley here that I need to use. I'm gonna add in some grated carrot. Do what you want, you know, it's just a recipe. Okay, so most of the liquid is evaporated. So I'm just going to put that into a bowl. And then it says to add the Dijon mayo. I mean, Dijon mustard. How much? Two teaspoons, round about that'll do. And a cup of crumbs. So look, I'm just gonna put that much in. Oh, and my carrot. All right, while I wait for my sausage roll mixture to cool down, I just tidied up the house a bit so I'm feeling nice and fresh and clean. So I like to light a scent of some sort, usually a candle or my diffuser. But yesterday I got sent this oil burner diffuser from Buckley and Phillips. So this is what it looks like. You put water in this bowl up top with a few drops of your essential oil, and then you just use a tea light candle down the bottom. I was actually really surprised about how much heat come from that tiny little candle because I touched the water, like I had to, <laughs> and it was hot and the smell that it was diffusing was beautiful. So I had it in my bedroom last night and I used this essential oil. This is the Sleep Soundly. It's a mix of lavender, orange. I'm not too sure how to say those last two, but this is it here. So now I want to try out this. It's the Easy Breathe. So eucalyptus, lavender, peppermint, and scotch pine right up my alley. Buckley and Phillips are a 100% Australian owned company. I think especially at this time, it's really important to be supporting these local businesses. So go and check them out. They have a whole range of essential oils, diffusers, and oil burners. I love when my house smells all pretty. So I'm really excited to get this on. Alrighty, so I've got my pastry. I've got my mix. God, they look so good, I'm so excited. All right, let's get cracking with the rest.
back to Kmart right now. There are some storage, like organizer containers that I want to pick up for my makeup room. So let's go see what's in stock. So there were way too many people in the store for me to be vlogging. So I'm just going to do a voiceover for this part. These are the cool white containers I was talking about. I found them. They had heaps in stock. They're really hard plastic and they come with matching lids. And then I just wanted to show you these stickers. If you guys haven't gotten onto these stickers, they are an organization lover's dream. There's also a few packs in the kitchen section as well. Then I saw these cool shoe boxes that could be used for storing many things and also these gray felt organizers as well okay <laughs> all right so i just got back from kmart here are my goodies so just real quickly i grabbed a pair of sunnies how cute are they much cuter once i take all the rubbish off them mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i got these hair clips just simple nice and simple I got some more tea light candles for my oil burner. And then these are the containers. So they're like a hard plastic. They're not flexible. I got a really big one. I thought this could be my empties bin because I have a lot of empties. Like at the moment, let me show you. These two boxes here are all my empties. So even though this is friggin' huge, I thought it would be good for piling up all the products and then they come with lids so I can just cover it up. And then I end up getting four of this size. These are four liters and this big one is 11 liters. If you have a look online, you'll be able to see the proper dimensions. But again, it comes with a lid and I wanted to use these ones for... Like, instead of using this crappy little basket, this is where I have, like, makeup products I haven't tried yet. I can put it in here. I also got some extras because underneath the cupboards in the laundry is a bit of a mess. And I wanted to tidy up in there. But I just had a quick look and I think I might be better off getting the bigger ones for the laundry. So, we'll see. These were only $6 each and the big one was $12. I've already got these products organized, ready to film. So I'm just going to leave them in their little boxes, but damn, that filled up quickly. <laughs> so let's throw a lid on that. How cute are the hair slides? Oh my gosh. They just go in like bobby pins. All right, well, that is all for today's vlog. Clinton just got home, so I'm going to spend a bit of time with him. And then I will probably just chill out and do some editing for the rest of the night. So nothing too interesting. But I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.